Hey YouTube, this is Alexander and today I'm going to be giving you a review of Android 4.4 running on my Nexus 4. So let's get started. Okay, so as you saw, that was the new boot animation sort of being taken from the Google Play Edition devices on, available on Google Play. Uh, I do like that animation. It looks really nice. Uh, I sort of missed the old Nexus logo animation, but, you know, it's sort of nice to have a, a change there. Uh, so here's the new lock screen, and I will be doing this review on the Google Experience Launcher, but I will not be really commenting on how the launcher has worked for me since I haven't used the stock launcher very much, but I will show you guys that. So you still do have your lock screen widgets, and I believe these are off by default. So now at the bottom you have a nice little arrow, which is useful to get to Google now, and I really like the little arrow more than the little dotted circle. It just looks nicer, and for consumers who are going to be using relatively stock Android who uh, were OEMs continue to use that arrow, it will be helpful for them too, rather than just having some weird looking circle down there. Uh, you do have a camera icon down here, which again is useful for the average consumer, but for my taste, I personally don't like how that camera icon is down there. I wish you could t turn that off because it just sort of makes this nav bar down here look a little messy and off balanced. Another thing to note is that the clock application and uh, widget have sort of been changed a little bit. The widget here looks nicer. It no longer has the uh, bold hour uh, icon or hours time, which is nice. I really appreciate that. We'll go ahead and take a look at the digital clock since I mentioned that. Uh, in the clock application, it does look different. It still looks relatively the same, but you know, minor tweaks here and there. I think it's weird how they decided to uh, use red here for this. I mean, I guess it's an alarm and it sort of pops out, you know, it goes with the whole waking up thing. Um, but I think it's, I think it's a little weird um, to use red when the system colors are really blue um, and white. And I'll talk a little bit about the blue in a minute. But there's the new clock application and widget. The dialer, go ahead and pull this away for a second. Um, the dialer actually does look really nice. I like the dialer. Uh, I don't really have anything personal here, so. But the dialer looks nice. Um, we'll go ahead and bring that up. Uh, what you can see here is a revamped interface. Uh, you can get to your recent calls here. You can get to the dial pad here, and you can also now search for a contact from the dialer. So for example, if I wanted to type in uh, a Danny or something like that, I can push three, two and then six six and nine you see, you see how that goes um, it looks really nice though again it's sort of weird how they kept the blue uh, but I guess they kind of had to down here since that icon is white uh, the the three icons down here um, you have your menu here with pretty much all the same thing you go in settings and you see caller ID and nearby places nearby places is very useful um, so if I wanted to go ahead and search for pizza pizza It'll go ahead and actually search nearby places uh, to go get some pizza, which is really helpful. I haven't really used it yet, but I know that calling more places or generic places nearby, that's going to become very handy. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at the camera. The icon has gotten a new, uh, it's gotten a sort of a makeover, but don't let that fool you because the camera unfortunately works and operates the same. Uh, you still have the same way to get to your settings, your HDR, exposure, front, uh, flash, everything is the same here. Just a little makeover to the icon, which I like, as well as, uh, didn't mention this, but the dialer also has a new uh, icon. I really didn't like the icon the first day I saw it in the leaks and things like that, but it's actually grown on me. I really do like the dialer now. It looks a lot better and goes along with the theme of uh, Android 4.4. The Hangouts now has SMS integration. Uh, that's sort of Hangout slash 4.4, but um, in 4.4, if we go ahead and take a look at the settings and we go to More, we can see default SMS app as a little setting. So if you have multiple apps that will allow you to text through them, you could possibly switch that and make that your default SMS app, filtering all the text messages and, SMS, uh, and MMS through that application rather than trying to filter it through another application and then hassling around with uh, turning notifications on and off for specific applications. It just makes it a, a little bit more smooth. Uh, the downloads application got a makeover as well. This looks a lot nicer. As you can see, it's got this white color scheme, and then you can sort of organize it by name, date modified, or by size, and then you have your menu button up here. So really small thing, but it just really welcomed. It looks a lot nicer. Uh, the people application has also gotten a makeover. 
Uh, we'll go ahead and pull this away for a second, make sure there's nothing there. Uh, I'll go ahead and take a look at it in landscape. Uh, there's how it looks in landscape. Uh, it looks a lot nicer. Uh, I do appreciate the new color scheme here. Everything just, it just works. Um, go ahead and jump out of that. But the people application has been uh, revamped just, just a tad bit. We'll go ahead and visit the settings. Uh, in the settings, like I mentioned, you have the default SMS app. Here, it just looks a little bit more organized. I don't remember, come to think of it, how it looked in the previous versions, but it looks a little bit more organized here now. Uh, you also do have this new home area where if you have multiple launchers installed, rather than trying to go to one, clear the default, or go ahead and swipe away the launcher to, to just get rid of it, clear it from memory, you can just go here and go ahead and switch which home you want to have as the default. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the launcher just to show you what actually comes from installing 4.4 on your Nexus 4. This is how your launcher actually will look. You'll have no transparency in the nav bar, no transparency up here in the uh, notification bar, and the swipe left will not get you to Google Now. So this is how the launcher actually looks. So very Jelly Bean-esque, and that is why I went ahead and switched to the Google Experience Launcher. Uh, details on how to get that will be down below in a video if you so wish to get that. Uh, sound and display, those are all the same, uh, essentially. They did add new ringtones in 4.4, but I haven't been able to really see those come to the Nexus 4. There's no new ringtones as far as I knew in 4.4, uh, for the Nexus 4, unfortunately. Uh, battery is something I will talk about in a minute, but I'll go ahead and take you, uh, let you guys take a look here. I got voice calls and some screen on time. Go ahead and jump out of that. Uh, applications, I have something just quick to note here. The memory usage seems to be way down. As you can see, I have a couple things running here. I don't install a lot of applications, as you guys probably know from my videos. Sometimes I theme here and there, uh, but for the most part, I hardly have anything uh, installed on this device. But I have 1.6 gigabytes of uh, RAM available and 240 being used. That is just crazy. The first time I, I, I looked in here and saw that, I was just sort of blown um, out of my mind because before I would have about a gig taken or maybe half a gig and it's just it's just really they've really done some good memory management um, I'll say I have a couple apps disabled here since I don't use them messaging I have disabled of course because Hangouts deals with SMS currents I don't use it and then the HP print service which by the way is a feature of 4.4 cloud printing I just don't use it uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at location you now have different uh, modes that you can put your device in, high accuracy, battery saving, and device only, as well as a recent location request sort of list of different applications that have recently requested your location. Um, continuing on, we have security, which is where you can go ahead and enable or disable lock screen widgets. That's pretty useful. Uh, language and input, not too much there. Everything's pretty much the same as you can see. I wish they added a little color. You see how that Google icon is blue? Sorry for the lack of focus, but that Google icon is blue right here. I wish they went ahead and added some color on these icons right here, but they didn't. Hopefully in the next version of Android to make it a little bit more user friendly and just make it look a little bit uh, pleasing. Uh, date and time, accessibility, printing. You have wireless printing. I have that turned off or cloud print. Developer options is where you can go and select the different runtime. You now get the option between Delvic and Art. Art is, I believe, sort of more experimental, so they have that off by default. Um, but you can go ahead and check that. I have noticed after checking Art, uh, I've gotten significantly better battery life, and I'll go ahead and show you guys that. And there will be a sort of, uh, sort of link down below to go ahead and check out some battery screenshots I have uh, using Art. And I believe I'll, I'll try to find an article for you guys uh, somewhere online to go ahead and give you more of an explanation of what Art and Dalvik is. Um, about phone, uh, sort of basically the same, of course. You see Android version 4.4. Um, that's pretty much it for the settings. So if we go ahead and take a look at the app drawer again, you will notice that Drive and Quick Office are here. Those are actually pre-installed now. I think some people said that they were pre-installed on 4.3, but I didn't notice it. Um, I didn't have Drive installed and didn't install it for me, neither did it do Quick Office. I noticed Keep was installed. Anyway, Drive and Quick Office are now pre-installed on any device um, uh, running 4.4. Now a couple annoyances that I've had with Android 4.4, the notification bar jank, if I can use that word is something that annoys me. Basically, hopefully you saw it there, is when I pull it, the notification bar down from the lock screen, sometimes it'll go really slow, or it'll just sort of jitter its way down there, as you hopefully can see. Now, I'm not sure why that is. I've switched between the different launchers, and 
I don't believe that's going to make a difference because this is on the lock screen, sort of different area of Android. But that's really annoying when you try to pull down the notification bar quickly and it stops halfway and then continues. It's just really terrible and I hope they fix that very soon because it's one of those minor things that actually does build up. I haven't tried a factory reset. I'm avoiding that. Hopefully they can go ahead and just push out some sort of software update soon. Uh, gallery and photos is another annoyance that was there since before 4.4 but I would have hoped they merged them together. Gallery is the area where you can go ahead and view your photos, edit them, and view the photos that you have in Picasa or Google Drive. Photos is the application that basically is tied in with Google Plus to allow you to do so much more like make them small movies and uh, you can edit the photos as well. It's just it's a lot more functional I would say but it's also a little more cumbersome in my opinion it sort of has more areas to it rather than the gallery it's just a simple gallery here uh, so I wish they would have went ahead and merged those but they didn't news and weather is another thing that has been around since 2.1 the good old Nexus One days news and weather and I believe it's since then but here's this application and it's just this is something that I wish they just got rid of they have Currents, they have Play Newsstand, they should just merge Currents, Play Newsstand, and News and Weather, get rid of this, and make a beautiful weather widget. So hopefully they will do that, but as of now, it is still there. Um, the blue accents are still present, so maybe you would have seen it in the settings, but if you go into settings, you have blue here. If you swipe up from a, swipe to the top of a list, though, you get a nice white. Uh, same thing for the bottom but you still have that blue accent. Up here you have white, but if you go ahead and press on the power button to get to the power menu, you have that blue accent. As well as uh, inside the gallery, I'll go ahead and take you in there real quick. Inside the gallery, you can see if I long press an image, it turns white, but then when it's done being long pressed and you actually have selected it, it's blue, as well as having a blue bar up here. Uh, so that's really weird. I wish they would have went ahead and actually fixed it. Um, so that everything is white, everything that can possibly be white is white, but it seems like it was sort of rushed. They didn't really finish it, and so they just sort of released it halfway, and hopefully in the next um, update, they will sort of start fixing that and make everything more white-themed. Uh, the Google icons are not uniform. This is something that has been present since, I believe, since these icons even existed altogether, um, but they actually are not uniform. If you c Hopefully you can notice that, try to keep the glare out of the way. But the Google Plus application is a lot larger than the Google application over here, which is just a little bit smaller than the Google settings. So it sort of goes smallest, medium, and then largest. And I wish that the two teams would go ahead and get together and just make their icons uniform. Not sure why they haven't done that. I wish Android 4.4 brought that, but that is a minor annoyance in 4.4 is that that's not fixed. Um, another thing is that Movie Studio is still present. Movie Studio is that good old thing they introduced in, I believe, 3.x, and I haven't really had much luck with it. Making movies, editing, saving has not worked for me at all. Now, this is 4.3. I haven't tried on 4.4, uh, so I will, but I wish they just kind of got rid of it now because they have photos over here, which will allow you somewhat to make a movie uh, and put in some music and things like that, so it just seems a little bit more mature. Um, but I wish they just got rid of Movie Studio and just put everything in photos so that you can edit and create small movies like that. Now some extras that I'm going to go ahead and talk about in the last minute or two is my battery life. Uh, battery life has been, like I mentioned, great since I switched to art. I sort of gave you guys a sneak peek and I let you guys have access to a link down there, but I'm on 12 hours, 5 minutes. I have 57% remaining. My screen on time is an hour and 9 minutes. Uh, voice calls is 2 hours and 31 minutes and then here is uh, some more information on wake and Wi-Fi. Now I realize I've had Wi-Fi on the entire time but I do have screenshots on my Google Plus that I like I mentioned will be linked to down below where I switch between Wi-Fi and 3G so it sort of gives you more of a balanced look at it and these are all the applications. Like I said I don't really use a lot of applications though it's mostly just browsing the web, uh, very minor since I have my tablet, um, browsing the web, I go on uh, Falcon Pro, so Twitter, uh, Google+, Instagram, uh, I use a lot of Hangouts, I use Hangouts mostly for the IM, not the SMS, uh, like I said, a lot, of, a lot of voice calls, I don't really take a lot of pictures, um, but those are mainly the applications that I use, I don't watch a lot of YouTube on here because when I have my phone, I'm out most of the time, and when I'm home, I just use my tablet, um, but those are pretty much uh, my numbers for battery life.
Uh, and then as you saw, the last little note is I have disabled Currents, uh, the HP Print Service plugin, and the messaging application. So that's going to go ahead and pretty much wrap it up for Android 4.4 on my Nexus 4. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe down there for more. I'm sorry it was really long. I just wanted to get everything out there for you guys. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. And uh, go ahead and take a look at the description because you might notice something uh, that you guys like. So there it is. Um, that's it for this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.